Hello! If you thought that the sins of K-pop subs would only take up one video, then you were sorely mistaken. And if you thought that those grammar and spelling mistakes that we covered in the last video were bad enough, prepare to be blown away by even more horrifying sins that look grammatically correct but sound totally wrong. Take a look! Okay, let me just say that the moment I saw this, I couldn't help but pause the video and laugh myself to tears. And if you didn't do the same thing just now, then you probably don't have a soul. First of all, Rap Monster. Who the fuck thought that this name was a good idea? Anyway, Rap Monster, you're a 21-year-old Asian man. Therefore, you are not, and never were, wrinkled. Second of all, that's not how plastic surgery works. If anything, it sounds more like one of those horrible things that dumb kids do to their parents. Hey Sally, why is your face all fucked up? Ah, uh, my kid just tried to iron my wrinkles. Just another day, you know? That's the sound of my brain frantically looking for something, anything, to explain this away. And that is the sound of search not found. Is this a roundabout way of saying I make you hot? And is this a fancy way of saying that he got fat? What is this mysterious loose thing that they're talking about? Is it muscles? Teeth? Vagina? Define that shit already, man. The suspense is killing me. This is what I love about K-pop, you know? It gives me that same feeling that I get when I read good literature. It leaves so much room for interpretation and anything is possible. Such quality entertainment. The only place where this phrase would make sense is in a conversation between Aung San Moon and Evelyn from the Mummy Trilogy. Come back to the former self of you! No way, bitch! Modern life is awesome! Whatever. Therefore, this song is actually about reincarnation. Don't you just love how surprisingly deep K-pop can be? I can imagine this phrase being used at a super fancy restaurant that hands out a little tray of coins instead of mints at the front desk before you head out. We hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. Why don't you take a change as a souvenir? Because, you know, rich people don't jingle, so it probably fascinates them. Doesn't this read like a diary entry written by someone who's been clubbed in the head and held captive in a basement or something? Said person will probably follow that up with, Who am I? Where is this place? What do I do? I usually don't like to pick favorites, but there are just some lyrics that do a certain thing like no other, so much so that I have created awards for them. Ambient music, please! The award goes to this line in Twice's Ooh Ah and this line in AOA's Good Luck. Yeah, the thing is I just googled you bitches without makeup right now, and I can confirm that none of you woke up like this, okay? But, if your bare face looks like this, then that's another story. On a side note, fuck you and your flawless skin, Jessica. Uh, never mind about a thing. And the award goes to... I use 23! I seriously never thought that any translation could be as laughable as Google, but apparently this one can. And it pains me to say this because I love this song, but the first time I watched the video with the subs on, yeah, it kind of made me blind. Interestingly, these phrases are all grammatically correct and understandable, except that one, but reading them is about as pleasant as getting soap in your eyes. It's as if the translator decided to write the whole thing in the most ESL way possible, and apparently it was a great success. And thanks to that, now I can't help slipping into an accent when I read these aloud. Ah yes, like now for sure. At first, I never wrote even a single line of lies. Making an opposite facial expression to the heart is really simple. And now I sound racist. Damn it, I don't mean to be. And that's all that I can stomach for today, but we are far from finished. If you want to see part 3, please subscribe and stay tuned. Bye!